hello and welcome to my youtube channel um if you're new to this channel please subscribe so that you won't miss any of our new videos because we'll be uploading videos each and every day so today we are going to look at the basics of virology right okay so firstly we need to define what a virus is right so a virus is basically an obligate intracellular parasite so accordingly it can only survive within a host cell and depends on it for replication and metabolic processes right and we also need to define this term called a virion this is the infective form of a virus and uh, when present outside the cells right so it consists of three things either dna or rna that's number one number two it is protein capsid and number three sometimes it is an envelope right so in this video we're going to look at these three things right so firstly uh, so looking at the viral genome firstly we have dna viruses right so the dna viruses like uh, as the name says like they have like a uh, dna viral genome right so this genome can either be a number one double stranded dna right like in most dna viruses it's double stranded right but in some viruses we have single stranded uh, like DNA viruses, for example, we have Pavoviride, right? And the third thing is um, the shape of DNA, right? So uh, it can either be linear, like in most of the viruses, most of the viruses have a linear DNA, but some, uh, some exceptions, like a Papilloma viride, um, Polyoma viride and Hepadna viride. So these ones are secular, right? Okay, uh, that's it for now about the uh, DNA virus. Now let's go to RNA viruses, right? So RNA viruses, um, uh, they can either be uh, double-stranded RNA viruses like Rio Veride, but this is an exception because most of the RNA viruses are actually a single-stranded, right? Okay, so this um, RNA viruses, this single-stranded RNA viruses can be further divided into uh, either positive sense or negative sense. Okay, so to say uh, an RNA virus is an RNA virus is positive sense. What is basically mean is that this its structure resembles the actual mRNA, which can a which can directly be translated into a protein using the host cell uh, machinery, right? So uh, examples of these viruses include a uh, uh, retroviride, togaviride, flaviviride, coronaviride. Caliceviride, etc., right, and Piconaviride. Okay, then we have the negative sense RNA viruses, right? This negative sense of um, RNA viruses, they cannot be directly uh, translated. They firstly need to be uh, turned to positive sense and then to proteins, right? So it means like they they have a, a, a specific uh, viral machinery which they have they come like they come to the host with their machinery to the host cell and use it to convert to positive sense RNA we, are, we shall explain uh, this like in the next videos because we don't want to put like a lot of details since this one is an introduction video mostly these RNA viruses are linear right okay so um but we have some which are secular like arena viride and delta viride just examples and about segmentation we also have banya virus uh arena virus these ones are segmented indeed okay so now let's look at um capsid right the protein capsid Protein capsid, this one is actually composed of uh, capsomes, which are aggregations of proteomer subunits uh, that encloses the genome, right? Uh, 
so they can either be helical or icosahedral right so helical uh, capsid are found in enveloped viruses and icosahedral capsid viruses so these ones are uh, i mean icosahedral capsid structure this one is found in the enveloped viruses right and also in non-enveloped right helical enveloped icosahedral enveloped and non-enveloped okay so this non-enveloped can a is also known as a naked okay let's look at this like in more detail when we go to what to the actual envelope of the virus right so uh this envelope is actually a lipid bilayer around the capsid that contains the viral glycoproteins and the host cell proteins right um, so the presence of this lipid bilayer makes makes these viruses with envelope vulnerable uh, to organic solvents such as alcohols and detergents right so here is i'm recording this video we are in may of 2020 and there is an outbreak this pandemic of covid 19. Uh, this virus coronavirus it is it is enveloped so that's why it's encouraged to sanitize to wash hands with uh, alcohol based detergents so as to kill this virus right okay so this envelope originated from host cells plasma membrane right and uh, some of the viruses don't contains don't don't contain uh, this envelope right like i said and those ones they are referred to as naked viruses Right. Examples include uh, papilloma viride, uh, adenoviride, parvoviride, uh, polyoma viride, calice viride, picona viride, rioviride, hips viride. So these ones, they are non-enveloped, right? But we have a special one, hips viride, because, you know, like, uh, as I said before, I said this envelope, in most cases, is derived from the word from the uh, uh, plasma cell membrane uh, of the of the from the plasma membrane of the host cell but this helps very acquires its envelope from the new from the nuclear membrane okay and we also need to talk about the last thing which is on this envelope the spikes right so these spikes are actually like the viral receptor proteins like they enable adhesion they help the virus to adhere to the um, host cells right and on this envelope if we talk about things like bacteriophages which are the actually viruses which attack uh, bacteria they have a sheet and tail fibers so i will show you uh, this structure of the bacteriophage in the next video okay for now i i just want to bring out some images uh, illustrating the structure of uh, we, we, we just described right so firstly uh, here we have non enveloped viruses right icosahedral capsid so starting from inside here you have the genome and outside you have the what the capsid right then enveloped viruses icosahedral capsid right so you see the difference between um, enveloped in the non-enveloped right this one is the envelope the lipid bilayer right which contains uh, these surface proteins these are the, the spikes which i talked about right right then here you have enveloped virus again right but this uh, capsid is actually a uh, helical capsid right so here specifically this one uh, the, the genome of this is like linear single stranded rna in most cases right so here you have what your genome here you have the helical capsid and then outside you have the uh, lipid bilayer and the spikes okay thank you so much uh, thank you for watching this video if you find this video interesting and informative, uh, please subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss any of our videos because we'll be uploading videos each and every day. Thank you so much.